and I'm just going to drop it into this particular website. Yes, so you can see here's my floor plan. Now this is a plan that I want to align with my Power BI data. So I have some Power BI data that um, has a room number, one to 10 or 11, and the count of how many people have been in that room at a particular day. Um, and so this is my facility. You will see down the bottom here, uh, it's on the magic wand. Uh, you can create your own areas as well. Now, the magic wand only works if everything is closed off. But if for some reason I wanted a, a little area just here and maybe a separate one here, I could create the boxes myself. So I'll just demo that for you. Here I can click, 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 click. That's box one. Click, 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 click. So if I wanted to split the corridor, but there was no line there. So you can see on the right here, I'm getting two areas, and this is the points that's kind of making up the polygon. So I'll, I'll delete these, because uh, what I want to do is actually use the rooms. So I'll click on the magic wand, and I'll just go through, run two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. And here I have 11 rooms, and you can see the areas are selected here on the side, where I can see I have the 11. Now, what I want to do is I want to take this image and use it as an SVG file. Um, and that's what this button down the bottom right does here. So I can export this to a Power BI file. So I can click on Export to Power BI. Here's my file with just black squares. And I just need to save as. So save image as. Um, I'm just going to leave it as download. SVG. So I click download.svg. And that's that's the file that we're going to use. So let's jump into Power BI now. So I'm just moving Power BI up. Now just to show you in my report here, um, I have a date, a room, and the day of the week and the count, etc. So that's that's all the data is. Really, I'm interested in the room number and the count. So if I jump into Power BI, um, I've already dropped it in here for you, but it is referred to as Synoptic Panel. If I get more visuals and I'll, I'll show you where it is. Uh, if I just write Panel, uh, this is the visual that I'm using here. So Synoptic Panel by Ocviz. So it's already in this file. I'm going to click Synoptic Panel. And it's going to need some data. So if I open up my sheet on the side, um, what we're going to need is, so the category is going to be the room, which is, I think, room one five. And then we can just look at the count, or we can look at average count as the measure. Now the chart is not going to work until we put an SVG file in here to map against our data. So what I want you to do is select the local maps. And you see here's, here's the file that we're going to use. We can see they're all black at the moment, but if you remember this was one, two, three, so they are mapped. So if I click on that file and I can bring it in and We'll sort out the colors, but if we have a look, you can see they're all green. Room one is 51. If I hover on room two, it's 47, 53. So uh, I have the counts now because if I, I bring this in as a table over here, I have room average count. Just make that into a table and I'll just unaggregate that. So you can see here, when I click on room one, it's going to highlight room one for me. This is the one that had an average count of 51 people. Uh, room eight had 58. So here's room eight. So we just need to add some conditional formatting for higher and lower. So if I select my chart, go to the conditional formatting, uh, it's referred to as states. And here I could enter some colors. So uh, State one could be red, and when it is uh, 40, and then 50 might be yellow, 60 might be purple, 
I think I've done this the wrong way around, I'll do it like that. So um, I'll just leave that there a second so you can see. So I've just selected uh, this emblem and I'm saying 40, 50, 60, and I'm just choosing some random colors to show you. Obviously you can spend a little bit more time cleaning that up. Um, but a really good solution uh, for any of your planning teams or your enforcement teams or anyone who has a floor plan. How many people sit at a particular desk? How many people are parking in a certain car park? How many people are using a certain room in a facility? Anything that you have a floor plan, you can bring it into Power BI. Um, and I thought I'd demo that for you because especially for those of you in the, in the council space, I think you would find a lot of use um, in terms of you know parking, uh, people sitting in areas, IoT sensors of buildings, facilities, open space area. If you've got the data, if you've got a floor plan, you can bring all that into Power BI. So um, I'll just check the chat if there's any questions about that. Risk risk matrix, yeah, that's that's another good option, yeah. Thanks, Brian. Um, sorry, we've gone a little bit over time. So let me get the winner of the book up and running. So uh, I have connected that data. So if you haven't filled in the form now, please do uh, fill in the form. Um, you can see here, actually, I've got the form. So I've been watching. So this form uh, at the moment, there's 67 respondents. This is connected to my Power BI file. I'll open up my Power BI file here. Um, so I've got 50, I'm just going to refresh it. So it is connected to the form data. Now I've got 71, which is good. Um, so I've got our 71 people. If you want to enter, I'll just give you 10 seconds to jump in, um, but it is connected all um, via form. So if ever you're doing a survey, you want to do something live like this, you can connect your Power BI straight to your form starter. Um, and there is a name defined here, but I've got a random generator. Um, if you have a look at this table here. Um, so I'm looking for a winner where I'm, I'm picking a random number between one and the max. So if we have a look in here, um, here's all our numbers. Everyone has an ID that's been auto generated by forms. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just hiding it because I was testing it. Someone's name's there. I'm going to click on refresh. And when I move this, whichever name is there will be the winner. So I'll click on refresh. 76 people. OK, so some people were joining in. So I'll just click one more time. All right, 76. And the winner is Maxine. Oh, I should have made that bigger so I can see it. McDermott. All right, congratulations, Mc Maxine. Um, I'll get in touch with you, or if I don't, please do um, send me an email, give me your uh, postal address, and I'll post that out to you. But thanks so much, everyone, for attending our session today. If I just get it to end, um, just to, I suppose, sum up for me. So if you are interested in Power BI training, development roller, please do give me a call. Um, thanks so much for attending. Uh, we'll have another session probably early next year. Um, so thank you again, Anna, as well. Really interesting presentation. Um, thanks, everyone. I'm going to end the recording now. If anyone sticks on the line, ask any other questions, you're more than welcome. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you at our next session um, or via our email. So thanks, everyone. Enjoy your day.